voice. It's very important for us to take charge, be seen, be heard, let everyone know who we are and what we're about, what's important to us, right ladies? Very important for us to do that. So how do we do that? There's different steps, there's different things that we need to look at in order for us to let people know that we have a voice, that we want to be respected. But in order for us to be respected, we need to be respectful, is that correct? All right, so what are some of the things that we need to do? So in your book, it gives a whole list. But I'm gonna go through a few of them. I'm not gonna go through every single one of them today, but there's some key ones that I really want you to really work on. The first one is learning how to listen. How many of you feel that you are a great listener? Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. How many of you have tuned out people when they were speaking? Raise your hand. <laughs> How many people have thought about other things that they wanted to do? Oh, and raise your hand. So no, you're not a great listener. Listening is a skill set. What's the difference between listening and hearing? There are two separate things. What do you think it is? Okay, what, what is hearing? Hearing, sound, wah, 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 wah. When we're born, most of us are able to hear, right? We can hear sounds. Listening is a skill set. Listening is all about understanding. We want to learn how to be active listeners, active listeners. So what does that look like? We do a deep dive into that in just a moment. Being friendly, being approachable. Remember we talked about being approachable and what that means? Having a smile on your face. There's another thing I want to tell you in order for you to be heard and let people know you. If you're able to, stand up. When you stand up, you're letting people know, I have something to say. You have the floor. You are the subject matter expert. You're the one that is speaking. And it gives you a level of authority and command when you stand up to speak. Your head is up, your chest is out, you're standing tall, and you're speaking to people, and they're listening to you. You have your undivided attention. Now, for those of you who say, well, Gina, if I stand up to speak, my boss is gonna say, sit down, what are you standing up for? <laughs> so then what you wanna do is, if you have to sit down at the table, you sit down, but you lean in. You lean in and you give each person eye contact, all right? R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respect, comes from the Latin word to look again. I see you and you see me. So you sit down and you lean in and you get that eye contact. Don't be afraid to sit at the front of the table. Too many of us women, we sit in the back. We don't want to be seen. But you want to make sure that you're in the room. You want to make sure that you're asking questions, that you're nodding, that you're asking, you know, Bob, can you repeat that again? Can you tell me a little bit more about that? I'm not sure. And you notice sometimes, you know, when, when men are in a room, you know, they have their papers all spread out, and their legs are gaped open. They're taking up much more space, right? But ladies, what we do is we keep our papers nice and neat, nice and organized, and we have our legs crossed, and we're leaning back. Now, there's something that I always want to tell my ladies. Keep your legs closed, ladies. Keep your legs closed. You don't have to have your legs get open, but what you want to do instead is spread your papers out a little bit, okay? Take up much more space, all right? Let people know that you're there. That's important for you to do, all right? Does that make sense to everybody? All right. Make sure that when you're speaking, you use clear and concise words and grammar. Try not to use flowery statements or qualifiers. Well, you know, if you don't mind, if you could, you know, I know that this is probably a dumb question, but, you know, I'm not really sure, Bob, what do you think kind of thing? But you want to be more confident and say, this is what I think. This is what I know. This is my opinion. When you speak like that, when you speak confidently, people tend to listen more. You want to also work on your tonality and your voice. If you have a high-pitched voice, high-pitched voices are not as seen as credible as lower-pitched voices. Oprah Winfrey hired a vocal coach to help her drop her voice down one octave. I heard. Okay. If you have a soft voice and you speak low, no one can hear you. And if they can't hear you, 
them to you out. So speak from the diaphragm. Speak from the diaphragm and speak up so people can hear you. Command that respect. Let people know that you're there. Okay. What about when someone is speaking and you ask a question at a meeting and they seem to ignore your question, they go on to something else, they kind of gloss over it. How do you feel when that happens? Insecure, <laughs> upset, your arms are folded, like, I can't say. But you don't say anything. So a woman who is in control will say, you know what, uh, before you go on, you know, I ask a question, and then you repeat yourself. Can I get an answer, please? And you nod your head, so they're like, oh, oh I, I apologize. You sound like a robot. You keep asking it until you get the answer. Don't allow somebody to gloss over it. Or just say, whatever, well, I didn't hear you, whatever the, the answer might be. All right? Building that self-confidence is all about knowing yourself, knowing what's important to you, knowing how you want to be seen in the world. Did you know that each one of you is a brand? Did you know that? What's a brand? What's a brand? When you think of these brands, what do you think of? When you think of Mercedes-Benz, you think of what? Luxury. When you think of McDonald's, you think of what? <laughs> the golden arches. When you think of Nike, you think of what? The swoosh or just do it. When you think of Walmart, you think of? No, I said, ew. When you think of Target, you think of what? The bullseye. The bullseye. So there's a perception that each one of us has about products and services that we see out there. People have a perception of you. How do you want to be perceived in the world? If you don't look at yourself as a brand and carry yourself in the way in which you want to be perceived in the world, guess what? People are going to perceive you. They're going to put a brand on you themselves. And it might be the kind of brand that you don't want. So you want to work on strengthening that personal brand. And when you work on strengthening your personal brand, that's about knowing who you are, how you want to be seen in the world, and strengthening your self-esteem and your self-confidence when you go out. Remember, like I said, you have power. You have a voice. You have something to say. You're out there in the world. So let them know. Let them see you. Let them know that you are important. Does that make sense, ladies? Make sure you're seen and heard. Okay, let's move on. 